Please keep distance. have received three robots in Kenya, one in Kenyatta National Hospital, another one in Magadi, and we have this particular one, Chasiri, here at uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. When the passengers come through the gates, uh, they come in a single file, and we cluster them according to the passengers who are arriving into the country and the passengers who are on transit. And obviously, the social distancing is maintained. We're aware that the world is changing. We had an entire year in 2020 with the COVID pandemic, and we started to see change in behavior, travel behavior. There are not as many people traveling as before. You don't want any more contact in high contact environments. You don't want the proximity. And for us to see technology being deployed in the airport is actually a big and massive change. The robot has two main cameras on top. One camera is infrared, which takes the temperatures of up to 200 passengers per minute. And the other now is the main camera, which just captures image which uh, maybe if there are mask alerts and temperature alerts, the camera takes an image of the passenger and we get the feedback in our laptops and computers so that we can get to address the issue. Please wear a mask. This particular robot uses Android uh, systems for those who are in the IT world. So that is why it is very simple, it is user friendly. For the robot to operate, you just have to have a dedicated uh, internet connection, that dedicated network. Up to 32 devices can be connected to get information from the robots, just like a normal Wi-Fi router. It has a lot of uh, functionalities. It can disinfect when my team is asleep at night. The person who is on duty will command using the laptops and the tabs that they have, and it does that automatic and it comes back to the center. In an instance where we get a suspect and it's confirmed, we get to know the specific uh, flight which the passenger was using, and then we get to flag the whole crew and the flight. So far, the machine just alerts, and it flashes uh, a, a red indicator when, when it's a temperature alert, and we get also the feedback in our info, uh, laptops, and then the officers will now get to address the passenger. The aviation industry is very resilient, and what we're seeing right now is just one more example of an opportunity for the aviation industry to pick back up again. We want to thank UNDV and the government of Japan and other partners who have really supported us in terms of uh, procuring this robot. So we are learning from this robot and I'm looking forward that in the near future the government of Kenya may procure more so that we can now uh, use them in the airports which are in Mombasa and Kisumu.